All right, so our base CSS is done, or the page CSS. Now we want to make this um, responsive. You can see if we make it smaller, it's not responsive at all. It's not even readable. All right, so um, it's going to take less less CSS than you would think to make this uh, responsive. All right, so let's go back into style.css. And at the bottom, we want to create a media rule or a media query. Whoop, what did I do? All right, and in here, we're going to say max width is, let's see, I want to do 768 pixels, which will basically be from iPad screen size down. Okay. So first thing, let's do calendar dot weekdays. Oh, this sh actually should be a number sign. It's an ID. And for weekdays, we're actually not going to show them at all. Okay. So we're going to set display none. All right, because in the responsive version, we actually don't need the weekday. Um, well, we can't have it and, and have it look good with the, with the current markup. All right, so next we want to do all list items. So we'll say calendar um, li. Okay, and this is where we're going to change um, the look pretty drastically. We're going to set a height to auto and set that to important and we're going to give a border of one pixel solid ed 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 okay and we're going to set a width to a hundred percent okay we want each each list item will, will stretch a hundred percent across the page padding give it 10 pixels on all sides and then margin bottom is just going to be negative one pixel. Okay, so let's see. Other month, in in the responsive version of this calendar, we're not going to display dates from the other month. All right. Um, so we're just going to let's see. Other month. Other month it will be display none. And actually, we can just make this a little cleaner and just put this up here put a comma since they have the same display property and actually we want to hide the date as well the number so let's just do another comma here and say calendar dot date all right and you'll see why so let's save this reload and let's go ahead and change this Actually, you know what? That's wrong. This calendar date. Okay, that shouldn't be there. We want that to show. And oh, you know why I did that? I want it to be float none. That's right. I don't want it to be display none. I want it to be float none. Sorry about that. So float none. All right, so there we go. We have each day, okay, and then we have our days with events. So that looks uh, a lot better than um, before we, we added that, those just a few lines of CSS really can make a big, big difference. So that is your responsive calendar. So feel free to, to create the other 11 months and maybe use this on your website or create an application using this or whatever you want. Alright, so thanks and I'll see you in the next project.